Julian Correa Trujillo was a Mexican composer, conductor, violinist, and scientist born in Aualuco, San Luis Potosi in 1875, part of the modernist international current. He is considered as one of the most important Mexican composers and a very important pioneer of microtonalism. He researched microtonalism and developed Sound 13 theory the first attempt to formalize the study of microtonalism. At the age of 19, he composed a mass that was well received. This, along with a letter of recommendation from the government of San Luis Potosi, allowed him to study in the National Conservatory of Music in Mexico City with professors such as Maicio Morales. In 1899, General Porfirio Diaz, president of Mexico, heard Carrillo playing violin and gave him a scholarship to study in Europe. Carrillo was admitted to Leipzig Royal Conservatory and became first violin in the conservatory's orchestra, conducted by Hans Sitt, and the Juent House Orchestra, conducted by Arthur Nikisch. Carrillo composed several works at Leipzig, including sextet and G major for two violins, two violas, and two violoncellos. He conducted the Leipzig Royal Conservatory Orchestra in the premiere performance of his first symphony in D major. In 1900, Carrillo attended the International Congress of Music in Paris, presided by Camille Saint-Saëns. He presented a paper which the Congress accepted and published on the names of musical sounds. Four years after, he won the first award cum laude and with distinction in the Ghent Conservatory International Violin Competition. Later that year, he returns to Mexico, where President Diaz gave him an Amati violin as a present from the Mexican nation for his excellent performance in foreign countries. In 1918, he came back to Mexico, where he was chosen as the principal of the National Conservatory and the conductor of the Mexican National Symphony Orchestra. Renowned pianist Leopold Godowski said the orchestra was superior to the New York Philharmonic Orchestra. The National Symphony Orchestra was so popular it could be sustained by its own economic resources. Carrillo fled to the U.S. because of political problems after the Mexican Revolution. In New York City, he performed his first symphony with the American Symphony Orchestra. The success was so big that a journalist named him the Herald of a Musical Monroe Doctrine. In 1916, Carrillo composed music for D.W. Griffith's film, Intolerance. In New York, Carrillo also wrote the 13th Sound Theory, which was published later in the second volume of Musical Talks. He came to New York in 1926, immediately arousing interest of the League of Composers, composed by Bella Bartok, Paul Hindermith, Arthur Honegger, Otterino Respighi, Manuel de Falla, among others, with whom Julian Carrillo had an interview for the exposition of his theories. From this meeting, it was agreed to sponsor the first concert with the music of Sound 13 in New York. Carrillo patented 15 metamorser pianos for producing whole tones, third quarter, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, 14th, 15th, and 16th tones in 1940. In 1947, he conducted experiments at NYU examining the node law and showed that it had to be modified after being a classic precept existed for the past 26 centuries. His reasoning followed from the fact that a node is not a mathematical point, but a physical point. If a violin string is stopped below halfway, the frequency of the bowed fraction is more than twice the frequency of its bass note. 
Leo later extended his work on musical physics in Two Laws of Musical Physics. In 1949, the first metamorphoser piano was made for third tones and Carrillo brought it to the Paris Musical Conservatory the next year. There, he met Jean-Étienne Marie, who diffused Carrillo's theories in Europe. In 1956, France's president decorated Carrillo with the badge of Knight of the Legion of Honor. Germany's government decorated Carrillo with the Great Cross of the Order of Merit. In 1958, Carrillo showed his Metamorphosa pianos at the Brussels World Exposition. They won a gold medal. Leopold Stokowski performed for the first time Horizon's symphonic poem for violin, cello, and harp in quarter, eighth, and sixteenth tones. The concert was so successful that Stokowski had to repeat the complete work. Next year, Stokowski performed Horizons in Washington, Baltimore, and Minneapolis. In 1954, he donated a metamorphoser piano for third tones to the Schola Cantorum of Paris. In Paris, during 1963, Carrillo won the great award of Latin music. He lectured in the Mexican Embassy in London and was interviewed by the BBC. The Times of London published an article from the Mexico City Correspondent. The grand old man of Mexican music, Julian Carrillo, has spent his life peering into an unsuspected microtonic world of sound. He has shattered and then remade our chromatic scale, and we might be tempted to call him the atom splitter of music, except that the name gives no idea of the rich emotional world he has opened. This was a more startling revolution than when Turpinder in Greece 26 centuries ago added two notes to the Chinese five-tone scale. Mexico's government awarded him the Civic Merit Medal because of the anniversary of the national flag's chant that he also composed. In 1965, the USSR invited Carrillo to perform several concerts across the country, but he died before. Carrillo died in Mexico City on September 9, 1965. His body was placed in the Rotunda of Illustrious Persons of the Pantheon of Dolores. Hey, thanks for watching. Want to see more videos like this one? Subscribe to Artcore channel and share with your friends.